All right, so if you have a Lenovo IdeaPad 5 and it boots to a blue screen saying uh, inaccessible boot device after an update, um, most likely it's because of a firmware update and the BIOS got reset. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So this usually happens if you have a M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. So here you're gonna see it's stuck, it's taking a while to boot, and here you can see it says inaccessible boot device. So what you're gonna do to fix this, assuming it's the same issue or caused by the same thing as what is causing this one, uh, what we're gonna do is after it turns off, you wanna push this and then make sure that the light turns off completely. We're gonna get like a needle or a pin or a bent uh, small paper clip, anything that can fit into this small hole. And there's this one key recovery hole here. Depending on your model, it might be different, but here's the one key recovery button on this model. Okay, once you press that, we're gonna wait and we're gonna go to the bio setup. So go down arrow to bio setup, press enter. Then from there, we're gonna go to configuration. Okay, at the top, configuration. We're gonna go to Intel VMD controller, and then we're gonna go to disable. Once you do that, go to exit and then exit saving changes, press enter, yes to confirm changes and exit, and that should solve your problem. So this laptop has been having weird issues whenever it goes to that VMD, Intel VMD, whatever thing, it doesn't wanna boot up right, or it won't detect the SSD, and this is how you fix it, all right? So once you do that, you'll see that this Lenovo thing should disappear just like that, and there we go. So that's pretty much how you fix that. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. This issue did take me quite a while to figure out because it wasn't even detecting the SSD when I was trying to do a clean install of Windows. But um, yeah, now that I figured it out, I know what to look for. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.